All right, so I want to make this quick video to show you uh, the difference between the stock 1080p 60 hertz screen versus the aftermarket 1440p 165 hertz uh, screen that you can get off of Costco for I think 60% of the, the MSRP. I think it's like 300 bucks. Um, so I was going to play a couple tables. Uh, I'm not very good at it. Um, I just play for fun. But I noticed that um, originally I bought it and I was like, ah, I'll just return it because it probably won't make a big difference. Um, but oh my god, it makes a huge difference. Um, you kind of see some lag on the original screen and this doesn't have any V-Sync, G-Sync on. Um, and with the aftermarket one, you're able to respond quickly. So it's not like it's, you know, at games, like their, their controls is delayed. I mean, it, it is, but it's very insignificant compared to the actual screen refresh uh, that you'll see on the aftermarket screen, because that can quickly respond compared to the original screen. Anyways, I'll play a couple tables, um, and then I'll play the same ones on the aftermarket screen, and you'll see the difference. Um, ignore the background printer going on. Uh, one thing you notice, it's kind of faded. Um, it's actually the same uh, in real life, um, as you know if you already own one. Um, so what you see in this video is pretty accurate as far as colors and, and brightness. I had to turn down the gamma um, because it was too washed out. So go ahead. There we go. Also, don't judge. I'm not very good. Just doing. I just got it for fun. Cause I like pinball. Not, not gonna win any competitions anytime soon. But I do notice it was kind of not as enjoyable um, as what I thought it would be. Um, even with like the aftermarket, like the solenoids and the uh, exciters. Um, with an amp, I just noticed it wasn't as fun and as realistic, and that's because of the response from when you go to, you know, hit your flipper. That was my fault. Uh, hit the flipper. Um, it's just delayed, and so it's not as realistic. So I try to plan for the delay, like, but it's not a guaranteed success. when it hits the bumpers it goes back and forth and then it'll just launch at one of the, the flippers or towards the center and I have a hard time uh, with the stock screen to, to predict the time it right I do like with the aftermarket exciters, I know it's not full of uh, surround sound, but I've noticed that, that you can feel like the, the bumpers, you can feel whatever you want to call it in the back, um, and like depending on like what map it is, if it's like a lightsaber or something, you can feel the lightsaber kind of go across, so it's quite cool. 
All right, so that was pretty bad. So, apparently it wasn't bad enough. I got fourth place. All right, we'll do Back to the Future since not as bad. Back to the future. Oops, new game. see some kind of latency, especially as it pans through, you get that, that artifacts. Let's do it up. <laughs> mm. Let's go for some multi ball. Cool thing is, as it's spinning, you can you can feel that ball hit. As it's in, oh yeah. Ciders. Ah, oh. oh, thank heavens. Come on, multi ball. Well, 
bad. Oof. Good right now. Take it. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. All right, 431. It's not bad, not bad. Uh, so I'm gonna pause this real quick and then I'll put the monitor on top um, and you can see the difference. All right, we are back. Um, I ended up having to turn off the light because the screen is a little bit higher and closer to the, the room lighting. Uh, there we go. Um, first thing you'll notice, it's a little bit more vibrant. Um, and not as washed out, um, not just because of the lighting in the room turning off, but also in general, the, the monitor is better. Um, so let's go ahead and... Right, this is going to be a little bit awkward since the stand's in the way. So it is set at 165 hertz. So we don't even know the rules of this particular table. <laughs> One thing to note is I still OTG or sound and controls. I just set it to sound to the stock ALP playfield um, for volume, and then I just set this as my main display. And I kept both ALP monitors horizontal. Nice. No idea what I did, but nice. Take it. I really 
need to read the point of this uh, cable. Ah. So I feel like I'm just mindlessly uh, shooting. Oh! These little flippers when the ball is. Oh, okay, I gotta press the launch this time. Oh, well, I messed that up. This is a first. Uh. Yeah, all right, so I did a little bit better. Um, I noticed that the ball reacts a little bit differently. Um, you can see more of the bounce and you get more flipper control. As far as timing goes, I don't know if you can actually see that in the video, but back to the see if you can see it with Back to the Future. Um, that one I have a little bit more experience with. So it's a little bit better, like the intro wise. I'm just going to stick with 2015. That's not the exact same time period as last time. Trying to mix it up a little bit. So really nothing audio-wise changes, so you still get that feedback, haptic feedback, which is nice. Oh man. It's just, the main video is now the new screen. So you can kind of hear... Pretty, pretty responsive. Ah. Swing and a miss. Where are you going? Where are you going? Really? Ah. Ah. It's pretty responsive. Oh 
place. Definitely notice that's more responsive. It's not as much of a thing. It's much of a of a just guess on the flipper. Ah. Anyways, there you go. Um, again, not the best player in the world. Uh, just want to show you the difference.